Bruh. Hey guys, I'm back for some more Art of War 3, and today we're gonna be playing on the Maya Lands map. Basically, we're gonna be playing with a random ally, and this is the Maya Lands map, so it's pretty it's a pretty small map. If I zoom out to the maximum zoom out, you can basically see that my base and the enemy base spawns pretty close. And the same thing occurs with my ally and my enemy's ally as well. So I'll zoom back in and we'll get started. And blue is a lit, uh, not not a little, quite late with those assaults coming out. At the 50s, at the about the 45th, 50th second mark, the assaults came out, which is really late. Got to be a little bit faster. Ooh, juicy container. All right, my ally got it. No, no, no. No, this is my container. Mine, good. That's what you get, assaults. Nobody takes my container. Oh yeah. We basically took down two assaults worth 80 resources uh, and we lost one rifleman worth 34 resources. So what is the profit gain? 80 minus 34 is... That's right, 46. 46 resources gained in the confrontation along with the resources gained in the resource container. So overall, I got a lot of resources. Yummy, yummy. And there's a bigger container over here that we'll capture. Nice. Sharing is caring. We shared those resources. Now my ally has a decent base, five supply centers, two power plants. It looks like it's more of a rusher's base though. Now blue has a lot of assaults though, and my ally did say that they were going to scout green, so let's see what green has. Hopefully green doesn't have, uh, like, uh, like Zeus and shield by now. But that's highly unlikely. Not even, uh, not even rank 24s can get Zeus and shield by minute 4. All right, HQ level two going up to HQ level three, five supply centers as expected. Level two assault vehicle factory, level one special vehicle factory. Now either, I think green is either going to do a hammer spam, hammer spam and hammer rush with typhoons and fire assaults, which is a pretty popular combination uh, in this day and age, or green may go for Zeus and typhoons and possibly torrents and heavy assaults, which is also a pretty co popular combination. Uh, but we're gonna have to wait and see. If they go for Zeus and the latter combination, we're gonna have to go for uh, heavier vehicles, but if they stay with hammers, then we're gonna have to mass produce vehicles as soon as possible, because hammers, they're a pain to deal with, especially in the early game. And yeah, my rifleman is desperately going to lose this battle. Yup, as expected. Oh, hammer? Uh, is green actually gonna make hammers? We'll scout. Okay, blue is going for Zeus and Typhoons. Green... Okay, green is going for Zeus as well. We can see that there's a level 3 as will be the factory. Okay, so they're going for a ladder combination. Now, we'll take down a couple assaults in the middle of the map, because why not? It's fr basically free damage, free resources, if you think about it. Okay, we took too much damage there. Now this weird hawk micro is just so whack. So wacky. 
so weird to control too. And at the same time, my ally is going to attack. It's the perfect moment to attack too. Green has nothing. Ooh, except one hammer, two typhoons. Okay, green has two Zeus now. Green is spamming bunkers, okay. But we'll see how this goes. We'll zoom out just a little bit. I have no idea why my ally isn't sending in those four dragonflies at the back, but uh, I guess it's to avoid anti-air. Okay, this rush was decent, definitely caught green off guard, but it didn't really do as much damage as he thought it was going to do. But next time my ally rushes, hopefully I'll be there to assist. Okay, there's a, there's a pesky little assault over there. Okay, now that there's so many bunkers being constructed and blue Zeus are here, my ally is forced to retreat. I'm now going for a massive aviation uh, army composition because n nobody in the map basically has air units. They don't even have an air force, so might as well just seize the opportunity to rule the skies. Okay, we'll move our ground troops to the middle. There's a pesky little assault there, so we'll take it down. Okay, my goal, I'm, I'm going to move to point D and attack point E, because there's nice juicy administration buildings there. Although, there's too much Zeus here, so it can't go through. Fall back, fall back. There's no way I can go through this, this amount of Zeus. And then I'm confronted with even more Zeus. And since my army is only like, what, like five Zeus Jaguars, I'm not going to be able to do anything. But I'm like, you know what, hey, I'm just going to do as much damage as I possibly can. Do as much damage as I can with my Jaguars and uh, retreat my Porcupines. No, no, retreat my Porcupines. No, no! Oh man, I meant to retreat my porcupines. Oh, this is embarrassing. <laughs> Bad micro on my part. Well, I am microing my hawks, trying to deal good, nice, juicy, juicy damage to assist my ally in the attack. I'm going to attack all the units so my ally doesn't have to confront these units that much. Dragonfly is going in. Okay. Nah. Now that there's air defense that's been set up, these dragonflies are really not going to do much. Although a, a small squad of grenadiers are approaching, but these bunkers are going to have them shredded in no time. And then I tell my partner to retreat. Then I also tell my partner to make some vehicles, because the thing is, the enemy already has bunkers, which is anti-infantry, and air defense, which is anti-air. So, the only thing he doesn't really have that much of is anti-vehicles. I know green's got some Zeus, and blue's also got Zeus, but vehicles paired with the army composition my ally has right now, I think that's going to be pretty good. 
Anyways, I send in my Hawks to take down the air defense. Trying to micro as effectively as possible, but the new micro pathfinding thing is just splitting up my Hawks. They're not even going in one group anymore. Yep, this is basically the new micro system. Uh, it's so weird playing with the new micro system. It's uh, so, so mmm. It's just not that epic anymore. Okay, blue sending some typhoons for anti-air. I now have chameleons though, so if blue decides to attack me, I got chameleons to help defend. Of course, sniper towers here and there for per perimeter protection. I bombed green because why not? And of course, look at this bigger container. Because nice, juicy, yummy resources. Let's fast forward. My ally says that they're going to attack uh blue's base instead of green's base because so far the attacks on green's base has been unsuccessful right so attacking blue's base should be a worthwhile endeavor so the logic works out all right so let's attack blue there's some typhoons there though Alright, blue doesn't have that many units. Okay, nice. I have sent Albatross to take down the HQ of green in the meantime as a distraction, and it worked. So yeah, that's nice. Although we did lose two Hawks, we were able to dish out some good damage, and that's what matters. And now green is, uh, green can't really produce any Zeus to help blue out because I took down the factory and I also took down the HQ so no Zeus can be made at all for like a good one or two minutes although my allies attack isn't going to do much especially since there's a torrent these torrents are nightmares for infantry units So let's fast forward. I have basically put a small army in the middle of the map and I'm sending in Albatross to take down a good portion of Green's administration. Nice. We dealt a pretty decent blow to Green's base. And now is the time to strike. We'll go in with our JC... No P, just JC. So we'll go in with our Jaguars and Chameleons, uh, take down some good buildings of Green's base. And it looks like Blue is going to counter-attack me. So I tell my ally I need some help, uh, because I, I can probably take green's base down but i can i probably i most likely can't take down this so chameleon activated come on <laughs> gotta protect that jaguar we're pretty desperate now i have no idea what the micro is that's sending these torrents in the range of a gun tower um and why the torrents and the typhoons are at the head of the army while the Zeus are at the back? I have no idea. Hmm, the torrent attacked my airfield. Does blue really just want my airfields destroyed? It appears to be so. 
but I'll build an extra airfield there just in case. And I'm going to send in my bombers to counterattack. Take down Blue's juicy administration. So now Blue will be set back some resources. And Green's base is as good as gone. The HQ has been built somewhere else, but it doesn't matter because Green is still under attack. Blue, they're getting really desperate, sending in all of their troops, no matter the cost. I lost my HQ, but I'll just rebuild it. Of course, my defenses have all been destroyed, but my ally is coming in with the insane help. Now this is some good help. Mammoth artillery for long-range coverage, dragonflies for all-round coverage, jaguars for some heavy anti-tank. That's some good help. And then I'll send in my albatross to once again attack the enemy to set them back a bit. We'll take down the air defense and then send in our hawks to take down a few other air defense. And it appears blue is self-destructing their base. So yeah, that's a good game. Yep, not only did we attack green, but we also defended blue's counterattack, and then we launched another counterattack at blue, winning us the game.